no bad pizza exists. I've traveled around the world, I've eaten a lot of pizza, and while there are levels, I just don't think there's pizza you wouldn't eat. But let's put that to the test. I'm going to eat with some of my favorite influencers and friends right. at some of the worst rated pizza places I can find. It tastes like a bucket of cream. Here are the rules. Every place we get one plain slice and one slice they recommend, and we decide, does bad pizza exist? Helping me out is Christina, AKA Eating Alone Diaries. I discover all the great food that New York City has to offer. Fabrizio, the moody foodie. I professionally play with my food and I eat a lot of food as well. Emma at Life of Emma Page from the Unhinged podcast. You are one of my like low key accounts where you're not a food account, but I trust your opinion on food more than almost every single other food influencer in the whole world. Really? Oh my God, that's so flattering. I like, I gatekeep certain accounts and yours is one of them. I love that. I do have a psychotic restaurant list um, for New York, LA, and then some in Europe. But yes, I'm very critical, very organized, attention to detail. I would trust me too. And Matt Peterson. And I do like food challenges online, so I accept random food challenges, anything. Today I'm accepting this. <laughs> what are your general thoughts on pizza, favorite type of pizza, favorite pizza place in New York City? Wow. And you New Yorkers are crazy. It's like a snack to you guys. Uh, I want to go with uh, Fini Pizza and Lynn Industry in Williamsburg. Two of my favorites. I went to FIT. I went to college in New York City, so my OG, like, late night pizza spot was Artichoke Pizza. I feel like that's a bit po polarizing now, and some people are really against it, but back then, when I was stumbling over from Avenue or One Oak, that was the spot. It's funny is that, what do you say about Artichoke? Like, I feel the same, where, like, you just age. It's not that you don't appreciate the flavor anymore. It's that your body cannot handle that much really? cheese. No. I'm a big pizza person. I grew up, like, a Domino's. Pizza Hut, thin crust pizza every Friday night. It was like my favorite thing ever. So I'm not like a pizza snob though. I've never traveled abroad. I've never had like real Italian pizza. So I'm like a Domino's boy at heart. Oh, so you're perfect for this then. Yeah. <laughs> I personally really like a thin crust. I'm not super into the deep dish style. Um, I also like it like flat, sturdy, not, I don't like it with a flop. You don't want no flop? No flop. Wow, okay. Yeah. Well, no, maybe Joe's now. Now as an oh, adult, okay, okay. you know, my palate's really uh, become a little more sophisticated. I think it's Joe's. But my pillars of a good pizza, I appreciate some herbs. I like oregano. You know, I like a little a little something other just than the cheese and sauce. What do you think about the idea that like no bad pizza exists? I agree with that. Well, I don't agree with that statement because I think that there's bad things of everything, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. But I, I have a little bit of like, a, I'm not from New York. So I'm, when I moved here, I was like, this is the pizza. Like everyone says this is the best pizza. And I had it and it was great. Uh -huh. But I think like you can get just as good a pizza where I'm from in Arizona. That's personally, I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. I don't, that, that's kind of my statement. It's like, I don't think New York has the best blank of anything. No offense to you. That is sure. the I'm most sorry. controversial thing I've ever heard in my I'm entire sorry. life. I fuck with that theory. I think it's very true. I, I have never had it. Like, I've definitely had some, some rough ones. But I mean, I'm also like a huge fan of frozen pizza. I think any pizza is more than edible. I honestly think if I'm hungry enough, I'm willing to eat any slice. I haven't come, I haven't ran into a slice that I haven't been willing to eat, so no. I don't think it exists. Okay, and then you gave us a hot tip when we got here. You've had this pizza before. Yes, I'm a repeating customer. I used to work at a school in this area, and I would be starving. This was my quick bite to eat, like every, Every week, I would come once a week. Okay, but not biased, you're willing to accept it could potentially be bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Just, just to be clear. <laughs> I agree. I'm kind of one of those people, though, who really digs bad food. Like, I low-key love, not even low-key, I high-key love airplane food. I love dirty Chinese food, and I will eat sushi in a stadium or at an airport. So, I agree. No bad pizza exists, I think, but we'll find out. Let's get to the pizza. BD Famous 99 Cent Pizza has 3.3 stars on Grubhub, and Evita C says, pizza had no pizza sauce taste, more like bread, cheese didn't taste like fresh mozzarella. I asked if I can get a side of pizza sauce, they told me they had none. Hmm, how do you make pizza? Guess you get what you pay for. And Tyson says, if you want a lightly warmed microwave pizza, eat here. I know what you're thinking, New York City is expensive. Let's get cheap pizza, I thought the same. Can't be that bad, right? Wrong. Run from here. Not worth the money you pay even at this price. Wow. Isn't it a dollar and fifty cents? 
I think so. It used to be 99 cent pizza, but they cover that part of it. So it's, I think it's a dollar fifty. Yeah. So we got a plain and a pepperoni sausage. Okay, so initial thoughts. Does this look like what you used to get there? Yes. Okay. It looks pretty good in my opinion. It, it looks okay. <laughs> it looks okay. Like, I think there is this thing of like all these pizza places, like they all seem like a little under for some reason. They don't like yeah. go hard on the cook. Okay. But like, yeah, not bad, I guess. I not agree bad. with that. All right, so should we try the plane? Yes, let's do it. Yeah, it's like. Can't hold itself up. No. It's okay. That's a big old flop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I like it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. It's a little doughier. It's a little doughy. It's a little under, which is what it looks like. Yes. But I will. Uh, does the <laughs> sauce have flavor? No. No. <laughs> no. But I will say, I think it's cheesy enough. I agree. No. I think it's like fine. I'm getting mostly dough though. It's mostly dough. They could, they could go a little harder on anything. <laughs> <laughs> but we knew that going in. These are not the best rated places, you know what I mean? That's, we're, we want to see the levels. I will say, if I was really, really hungry, this would hit. Okay, I mean, yeah. that's part of the game too. All right, let's try this pepperoni sausage. This one's much more sturdy. Oh, yes. This one's cooked a little harder also, so maybe that's, he did, the, the plain slice was already cooked or hot enough where he didn't heat up, he heated up this one for me. And that is like a weird New York City pizza thing. People think like, I want a fresh, fresh slice. I actually think pizza tastes better when it's been sitting out and reheated. Interesting. Yes, so don't be worried about that if you see it sitting there reheated. That's how it should be. You don't want it right out of the oven. All right, let's taste this. It's also lacking flavor. It's also lacking flavor. <laughs> You're getting at least a little bit more like texture because it's cooked more. Mm -hmm. And like pepperoni is like a little bit more flavorful. flavorful. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Still, no sauce. No sauce at all. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm okay with the amount of cheese. I'm okay with the amount of like the sausage is kind of weird, but like, okay, whatever. Like we're going for it. It is a dollar fifty for cheese, right. and like I think three for the if you add a topping on all this together, four slices and the coke we got. It was like ten dollars. It's not a bad deal. So, you can't stop eating it. Oh, so I mean, at least the next question, like, is is this bad pizza? I don't think so. I don't think so either. We're right on the cusp, to be honest. Uh, but I do think that, as you said, if you're very hungry, as you were every day, you could come here. It's dirt cheap, and you'll basically be fine. I agree. Rivioli Pizza 2 has 2.6 stars on Yelp. And Paola A says, I never thought I'd find a place in New York City that served bad pizza. Alas, there's a first time for everything. From crust to toppings, everything about a regular slice here leaves much to be desired. The cheese is tasteless. There's virtually no tomato sauce. Honestly, I couldn't even finish the slice. Find anywhere else for decent pizza because this place won't fulfill that craving. And Michelle C writes, I barely write reviews, but had to for this place. This pizza is so tasteless, it's sad. How is this place even open? I felt like I was eating cardboard with plastic cheese. The service was nice, though. Uh, I mean, if the pizza was bad enough to make someone write, that's, uh, yikes. But we'll find out. We got the plain and barbecue chicken. What do you think visually? Honestly, this is pretty great. Go. First I, of all, the slices are huge. Yeah, they're like, like it's heavy. It's heavy. It's a heavy slice. But I'm pretty excited. I, I think it looks great. They're very hot. I will say that like, I have been like ignoring service at these places because the whole point is like, hey, is the pizza good or not? Who cares about the service? But I will say they were super nice in there. Top notch. The first episodes we did when we would ask the people working there like, hey, what do you recommend? They would just basically grunt at us. Yeah. Where this guy like truly walked us through. He's like, I like the margarita. I like the barbecue. I like the buffalo. We ended up getting barbecue. But yeah, I was like super, super into the whole thing. I thought it was a great experience. And it's a big design. heavy box. So should we pl try should, to plain one if do, I can okay, even pick it up? Okay. Oh my God. In terms of the flop test, it's interesting. <laughs> it is. Oh, mine's pretty good. Yeah. It has like. I think mine's like ripping apart. Mine's oh, like. Yours, yeah. It, structure. It's a. You know why? Because there's so much cheese on here. Yeah. It's a drippy one. I think I'm about to like extremely. All right, let's get it by that before it falls apart. Okay. Oh, very good. That's very good. Mm hmm. I like the bottom. A little, what's that? Like a little semolina or something? I was saying too, yes. There's like semolina mm -hmm. flour on there, which is really, really nice. 
super thin. I'd say sauce is, uh, it doesn't really have much flavor. Yeah. Um, As, like, like, could you use like a little bit of salt or something? Like, mm -hmm. A little bit more? I would say like, yeah, the sauce is completely bland. A plenty of cheese. The dough cool. is a little bland, but super cheesy. I like the semolina. Mm. And it's a monster slice. I would eat this both sober and definitely drunk. Yeah, one-handed. It's not really one-handed pizza, okay. Uh, uh. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. Oh, good. I don't like that. I'm not gonna lie though. There's a bit of like a ketchupy vibe to the barbecue sauce, which I love ketchup. Sorry. But again, it, 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 it could use like a little more oomph. Yeah, you're missing a little bit of that, like smoky tang mm -hmm. you would expect. But there's so much chicken on here. I mean, I think Bell Park is so much chicken. This is like a whole, there's like a meal slice, I would say. I, it feels like each slice is like half a pie. Yeah. It's dense, tons of cheese, tons of chicken. Is it the best chicken? No. <laughs> But if you're fucking craving it, we're not bad. If we're gonna say no bad pizza. I mean, no, this isn't bad at all. Not bad at all. I will say that like, both are kind of bland, but I think there's a lot that makes up for it in terms of just like sheer size mm -hmm. and sheer like not, again, like it's not bad. It is average. Stella's Pizza has three stars on Yelp, and SM says, great that it's open really late, but it's the worst pizza I've ever had. No taste whatsoever, bland sauce, cheap cheese, etc. But one third of the reviews are one star. Oh, wow. Um, apparently it's a big post-club spot, uh, post-tal, we're right down the street here. So lots of drunk people love eating here. I don't know if that's a good or bad sign, um, but Brian M wrote this. This is the worst pizza in all of Manhattan. It is comparable to wet cardboard crust and tastes like ketchup pizza sauce. Oh my God, I'm so glad I didn't read these before I agreed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wet cardboard? Oh my God, okay, it's gonna be great. We got plain and buffalo chicken slice. Just looking at them visually, what are your thoughts initially? The buffalo chicken looks a little wet. <laughs> it looks We've wet, got a huh? lot of like liquid happening. Um, also, the chunks of chicken are a little small. Wish mm -hmm. there was more. I agree. But like, it doesn't look too intimidating. Like, I feel like it's gonna be okay at least. Yeah, the toppings look okay. The cheese looks okay. The crust on the cheese doesn't look great, and the crust on the buffalo looks a little under. But yeah, yeah I would say like not terrible. Mm -hmm. Want to taste the cheese first? Sure. Cheers. Yes. Oh, we've got some nice it, yeah, st Structurally, it's like a, it's very dense. Yeah. All right. I kind of love it. It tastes really good. <laughs> it's actually really good pizza. <laughs> we've got some grease drip. Love uh -huh. that. Um, one note, mm -hmm. the there was no pull to the cheese, mm -hmm. you know, but it's delicious. I, I'm getting that oregano that I love. Mm -hmm. We've got, we've got good holes. Yeah. It's got a good hand feel, if you will. Uh -huh. I'm into this. Yeah, I think it tastes great. Like I think sometimes you taste that sort of like poor quality cheese and not that like a plain cheese slice in New York City slice shop needs to have like the best quality cheese, but you taste the difference. Cheese tastes great, great amount of sauce. Crust I'd say is fine, maybe like a little drier mm -hmm. and you can tell like maybe just a touch over. Yeah. But like, no, like that, I wouldn't even put that, you know, we've had a lot of pizza which is like, ah, eh, this isn't really good, but is it bad? I'd say this is, not only is this not bad pizza, I'd say the cheese slice is good pizza. Yeah, I, like if I needed something quick, I would eat this. I would yeah. come here and have this. All right, so the buffalo chicken? It looks like it's from two different restaurants, to be honest. <laughs> this looks like someone in New York made this. This one looks like what I had, what my babysitter made me when I was like seven years old, out of the freezer. Yeah, it feels, let's see, oh. I mean, that's, it's a thick dough. It is. Because it's holding up to everything. It is. All it's right. doughy. Try it. Also not bad. Oh, not bad. The dough is thicker which I don't appreciate. Uh -huh. I feel like they had to do that because it felt like, oh, we're putting so much on there. So it's like a little too chewy and like maybe a touch under, but it brings the heat. The chicken is fine, uh, you know, but the flavor wise, I think it's fine. It's good. I feel like I'm more having buffalo sauce with chicken and ranch on a piece of bread rather than like a buffalo chicken slice. Absolutely. Like yeah. there's no pizza. This doesn't remind me of pizza. And for having like fried chicken on it, there's no texture either which I'm missing a little bit. Yeah. Like they had a, if it was like, if this was cooked a little further and it got like a little bit more crusty on everywhere, I would feel much better. Yeah, it's chewy. 
It's chewy. It's chewy. I not only think that this isn't bad pizza, I think this is better than average getting to good pizza. Wow. We just saved Stella. <laughs> Single-handedly. <laughs> This is great pizza. Yelp was wrong. I mean, the overall reviews were three. It just had so many one-star reviews where I wonder if people are just so drunk that they're not even appreciating it. Or they're just like throwing up the next day from being drunk. Yeah. They're like, it must have been the pizza. It must have no, been. No, you just drank too much. Yep. You that. had too many dirty martinis. Don't lie to yourself. It's not the pizza. Oh. Redemption story for Stella's. Yeah. $0.99 cent pizza has 3.5 stars on Yelp, and Noah Z says, Pizza slices were $3, not 99 cents, and it was pretty much just a pile of grease. That's what you're looking for, go for it, but if you want a decent pizza, this is definitely not the place to go. Wiltsa S says, you get what you pay for, I guess. No better than the pizza served in a middle school cafeteria. Three out of 10, only go if in an emergency. An emergency. I mean, we talked about it. I feel like this block, like if you're in an emergency, there are so many places to go, including the money laundering churro place. So <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I don't, that's a big statement. All right, well, we'll find out. We got plain and a chicken bacon ranch. Uh, initial thoughts on looking at it? I mean, look, this is not the most beautiful pizza I've ever seen in my whole life. I also, this? that review about the sauce, they, no lies were told. There is no sauce here. It doesn't look like this. I mean, I will be honest, this is the worst looking pizza I've ever seen in my entire life. I do agree. I'm also not sure what's happening here. It looks like, you know, some some like pre-cut marks were made or something. It also doesn't look like it's cooked. But I think, you know, let's, I guess, try it out and see. Yeah, that's not whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's not looking bleak. Okay, we're going for it. Yeah. Cheers. All right. I mean, is there flavor? No. No. Does it taste like it's cooked at all? No. Negative. <laughs> yeah, there's no cheese. No, there's, I mean, there's no, no, cheese. no sauce. There's, no, there's also no cheese, though. There's something. There's like a little bit of a butter. You know what, though? I am, seriously, if I close my eyes, I am transported back to my elementary school pizza day, like okay. Pizza Tuesday. Yeah. That is what's happening. So it's, it's nostalgic. Oh, God. Okay, so, well, oh. Uh, we have this other one here. Maybe I feel better about no, it's the. I, this one scares me deeply. What are these croutons? No chicken. Pieces of fried chicken. Oh. It's chicken, bacon, and ranch. So at least there must be more going on in there. And like it's you know, I'm it's heavy. <laughs> All right, try this one. So no flavor. I don't understand. There's no flavor. No, that's actually crazy. That feels like that feels like I. Have you had those drinks where you like? You, you take it and it numbs your mm, mouth. Uh -huh. I feel as if we just did that and now we're eating this and there's zero flavor. It tastes like a bucket of cream. Because the ranch like doesn't have any like zestiness to it. It's just like creamy and the bacon has no flavor. It's barely there. And the chicken, this is... I came in here wanting to be like a positive person. I, I, I was like literally walking here. I'm like, I'm gonna say it's great regardless. Yeah. No, this is actually like extremely bad. I'm not kidding. I... Yeah, I, I don't. This is the first time this has happened. Filming these, I think it's bad pizza. No, this actually. I mean, usually the criteria is like, okay, like, you know, they gave it to you, whatever, the school cafeteria, or whatever. Like, would you finish it? I don't think I could recommend anybody eat this. No, agreed. But here's the crazy thing: I've walked by here at night, and I, I do feel like maybe we need to do a part two, like at two a.m. because this place is a nightclub. Like, there's a line <laughs> out the door. Like, it's wild. So. Maybe it's a 2 a.m. vibe, like they wait to cook it and add flavor till 2 a.m. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand your point, but I also think that like in New York City especially, if you are drunk, I still think there's way better options probably within a block or two. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know, but this one, I think the, for the first time ever, I found that pizza. Uh, wait, that's really exciting actually. I'm really happy <laughs> to be a part of this. This is like a really big moment. We found the first bad pizza. I'm depressed. So now I have a very important question for you. Yeah. Does bad pizza exist? Yeah, I guess it exists. Yes. Sh show's over, series wait, over. I'm so happy. This is the season finale. <laughs> the, end, the end of the whole thing. Wow, okay, so I feel like I wish we had like an award or something to go give them. I don't think they want that. Yeah, no. So what do you guys think? Does bad pizza exist? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what quote unquote bad places I should check out next. And of course, make sure you're subs so you don't miss one bite.